recording on another device that I'll be uploading to YouTube later. I'm sure most of you who've been following the Morning Banana Show up until now haven't forgot that my live stream privileges by YouTube were revoked. So that is the way it is. I mean, in other news, what's been going on with me is we've had some guests arrive from Germany. And uh, it's been good. They've been at our house today as the seventh day. So one week. And they'll be around for a little while longer. But mixing it up. Uh, yesterday I went and helped my adopted brother move into a new place in Toronto. A student. You know, everybody in the family is wildly successful. While also extremely humble. So, I've been told that I am the squeakiest wheel. I am what I am. <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy this organic banana. Mmm. So, speaking about uh, bananas, have you guys heard about this thing going on in Poland? So if you're counting days that I was sick, by the way, I would be at day 23 or 24 by now. So I don't think that I am, I don't think that I am sick anymore or contagious. But uh, without taking antibiotics and without, um... Without taking antibiotics and without getting into medication, uh, whatever I had, the what used to be the two-week thing when I was, or the 24-hour thing when I was younger, has turned into, you know, a 24-hour, a 24-hour plus plus into like a two-week thing. So I was counting days at one point, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I'm just looking through. Uh, these these hashtags about the Poland situation. I don't know if you've heard about this, but uh, Banana Gate is trending. Banana Gate. And so I guess what happened in some... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this on my screen. But this piece of... Uh, it's not really art. It's a picture of a woman eating banana. A banana. I wouldn't even call that art. But somebody in Poland thought it was art. And... Uh, there's a museum in Poland, a gallery, uh, after a museum removed a series of suggestive artworks. So I don't know what the museum is called. I've never been to Poland. Banana photos hit. For those of you, <coughs> for those of you just tuning in, we're reading the banana news. Banana is making its own news now. So on the morning banana show, I think we should just read the banana, banana news from now on. Banana photos hit Polish social media in protest of indecent artwork censorship. Polish people have taken to the streets and taken selfies of themselves feeding each other bananas after a museum removed a series of suggestive artworks. I gotta take this picture. I hope none of these are copywritten pictures. I've gotten trouble before, trouble before from taking copywritten pictures offline. But I mean, look at them, they're just so good. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So, this suggestive photo of a woman eating a banana uh, has been taken down, or they're talking about taking it down from the museum in, in uh, Poland, creating an uproar, and people basically are eating more bananas. And you know, I haven't done a morning banana in a while, a morning banana show, because we've been so busy, but it's heartening to me that while I wasn't doing them, while I was enjoying some downtime, I had messages sent to me and directed at me saying, you know, We've been eating more bananas and eating fruit in the morning because of you. That's a nice compliment. I also have a blood orange here. Granola bar. Fruit bar. 
lasagna, coffee, and a lot of water. So I have to eat food that's portable in the morning. I like that better than sitting around and at a table and eating when I have to go to work. Uh, what else? In, in some other news, I was reading about this yesterday, these uh, suggestive cartoons from the New York Times, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought it was owned by somebody in Mexico, but now they're saying some, no, no, there's a Jewish guy who's the CEO of the New York Times, but there's these anti-Semitic cartoons of uh, Netanyahu on a leash, and he's a wiener dog, and Trump is following him, or, or leading him around. Another thing that I was keeping tabs on is um, this... Uh, what would you call it? The young kid who went into a synagogue and shot it up. Poway? P-O-W-A-Y? The Poway shooter? So that shooter kid, he wrote a manifesto and put it on paste bin. So, I have a lot of Twitter followers and people who are woke follow me and people who are woke follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com because uh, you know this isn't um, a weekend retreat for me being woke is uh, a lifetime uh, a life of uh, work and um, I started down this path when I was 16 17 18 you know that's 20 years ago so I think I get the R-E-S-P-E-C-T because of that. But anyway, I was trying to share the link of this kid's um, manifesto online. And, uh, you know, Twitter wasn't allowing me. And I tried making various, um, uh, various iterations of the link by... Uh, using like a bit.ly shortener and different Google link shorteners. Nothing would work. There's a girl, Erin, on Twitter. I don't want to shoot at her handle without her permission, but... She's in Calgary, and she was watching in real time how I was being censored. But, you know, no surprise nowadays. YouTube privileges yanked, can't tweet live links, links to things that are important, nope. So, but anyway, what else is going on? Elon Musk has been going back and forth between cartoons and sheep on his avi on Twitter, suggesting to those who have eyes to see that he's mocking the, the lemmings, saying it's all cartoons and you are sheep for believing it. Yeah, and, I mean, pinch me, is this a dream, but is Joe Biden seriously running to be president? I, I'm convinced that he's just doing it because of the presidential economy. Uh, it's not his first rodeo, you know, he gets to take donations, and in the end, it's a nothing burger, but he's been in politics his whole life, so what else does he have to offer aside from nothing burgers? And You give me your money, and I say words. I mean, look at Joe Biden's career. Has he done anything else other than be a talking head and grope people? I'm beside myself. I just can't believe that he's... he's. I got news for everybody. He's not going to be president, and neither is Bernie Sanders. So these guys are nuts to run and waste their time. And the only reason I can think that they would run is because, uh, one, they're, delu <coughs> they're delusional, or two, uh, they really just want to get in on the presidential race economy. Have you, have you, heard, have you ever heard of the store, the store Spirit that opens up that only sells Halloween merchandise around Halloween? They call it Spirit of Halloween. That store doesn't have any business the other, you know, 11, 10 months of the year, so they close down. It's a store that will go and lease a unit for like two, three months. They go in, they prep, they have the Halloween season, and then they close down. So if you're a landlord and you have a tenant looking for a short-term three-month lease and they, you know, sign something that they're going to clean it up on the way in and clean it on the way out, then 
it's win-win for you as a landlord. It was just sitting there not making any money. And uh, for the tenant, you go in, you pay your lease, you sign a contract for three months, you have to clean it, you know, make sure it's clean on the way in and out. And in the end, you make an economy. You make all your money during that uh, three months of the year and you pay your staff and whatever's left is your uh, net profit and maybe that's enough for you that you only have to work that three months of the year. Maybe Spirit of Halloween is doing very well. So I tell this anecdotal story uh, of something that's familiar, familiar to me because of the presidential economy. Now these guys have started their campaigns now for 2020. So they're gonna run this race of uh, becoming president until the US 2020 elections. And um, that may be near a year out. Uh, but what are they going to be doing until then? Taking donations and talking in front of cameras. So they get attention, they get money. And in the end, they might even get a book deal. You know, they can write a book and because of the attention that they had from, you know, the second thing I mentioned, they could even sell their book. So this is what these people do. And I'm not even saying it's bad. If I was in politics and that was my life, maybe I would consider something like that. But, um, yeah, the presidential economy. And so what are people who are like 77, 78 years old, what are they really thinking? Do they really think, does Bernie Sanders really in his heart of hearts think he's going to be the president? I think he knows he's not. And I think Bernie, I think Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden both know that they're not going to be the president. But this is the sacrifice that they have to make for their country, you know? Uh, in other news, what else can we talk about? Oh, yeah, one of the guests that I... Uh, have over had warned me beforehand that uh, she has night terrors and uh, not to be alarmed if uh, we wake up in the middle of the night to her screaming in German and so here we have seven <coughs> six days have gone by and last night was the first night that it was actual screaming it wasn't just mumbling in German so last night it was like I, I think it was probably four in the morning I didn't check the clock I didn't want to be disappointed I checked the clock and it was like I didn't check the clock rather and I wake up to <laughs> and then it trails off into a mumble. You know, stuff like that. And uh, I still haven't mentioned it to her, but... It's kind of funny, and it freaked me out. It woke me up. Wake up to Germans screaming in your ear. Yikes! It was like a drill sergeant. So, uh, that's the morning banana for today. You know, I apologize for getting out of it for a while, but again, stuff happens, and... You know, I just got so busy. And today's no exception. I have to leave here, and I have to go to restaurant one... They can't figure out how to open up a CO2 tank, and uh, what else? Something needs welding, so I'm going to go get that taken care of. Another day in the life of Adam Josh, you know? So thank you for following me on Twitter, at AdamJosh.com. Thank you for watching Morning Banana Show number 44. Hashtag Bananagate. Hashtag Bananagate. If you're into uh, uh, sticking up for the freedom of expression of art, like I am, as a bit of a musician and a bit of an artist myself, I have to get behind the banana gate. And hashtag morning banana is our hashtag. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on number 45.